Morning. Welcome to another of my strings and things. Uh, today I want to uh, talk about uh, guitar strings. And in particular, the thorny question of whether you should put steel strings on a classical guitar. Uh, we've all known for, me for a long time that you should never do this. Um, because obviously the string tension on steel strings is said to be too high uh, and will um, damage the top of a standard classical guitar, especially if it's a very expensive, valuable instrument. Um, I'm not really quite sure why that should be, because obviously the bracing uh, of the top of a guitar is now very similar between a standard steel string guitar and a classical guitar, sort of fan-braced um, fan uh, tops. But still, uh, if you've got an expensive guitar, <laughs> you, you may not want to try it. Um, uh, and I'm interested in to have uh, steel string guitar strings on a classical guitar for two reasons. One, uh, I kind of like the width of the standard fretboard of a classical guitar, particularly for doing some fingerings on guitars. And secondly, um, the, the sound of a steel string on a, in a classical guitar body might be very interesting and may be particularly good for styles of Baroque um, or early, early English music or, or harp music, as I'll show you at the end of this uh, video. Um, so, but now, the great thing is there are now some strings that have been made specifically for classical guitars. Um, and they are made by uh, Tomastic Infeld uh, in Vienna. And they make strings, uh, lots of different strings, also for um, classical instruments, violins, violas, cellos, etc. They make a lot of guitar strings as well. Uh, these are um, what they call the classic S, as you can see uh, on the image there, at least I hope you can see on the image. Um, they are, um, in terms of the string diameters, uh, 10 to 38. Uh, so particularly at the lower end, they are much thinner than a classical guitar string. These are the Precision KF110 strings. They also make, I think, a KF116, which is a rope core string, which I don't have. Um, and also, the other thing about these strings is that, really, apart from uh, the first string, uh, all the other strings, the 14 to 38 gauge strings, are flat wound. Um, so they're very nice strings um, to play because there's obviously uh, no zing when you move up and down the string. Um, and um, they are more expensive than your standard strings. I, I don't know, perhaps if I buy a, per, a set of strings for here in the UK for a um, electric guitar, uh, say 10s or 11s or 12s or something, I might pay £8. These uh, vary depending on supply between uh, £20 and £30 UK pounds. So they're much more expensive. Uh, are they worth it? Well, they're worth it because obviously you can do the experiment now. What does a steel string sound like uh, on a classical guitar? So uh, I have uh, put them on this uh, Honer uh, classical guitar, um, which I've had for a few years. It's a, a lovely guitar. I'll do a video on it um, uh, perhaps in the future. No longer available. In fact, Honer don't make guitars anymore. They're sticking to obviously all their mouth organs and concertinas and accordions and things like that. So as I say, these are very smooth strings. If I bring them up to you, I don't know whether you can see that. They're flat wound strings. Even the second string, which is very thin, is also flat wound. So you get no, no, no sort of buzz or um, sound of slippage on the strings of these guitars. What do they sound like? Well, this guitar at the moment is tuned into what, what I call open G with C. So from the bottom string up, it's C, G, D, G, B, D. Um, and uh, that's so I can play some sort of medieval uh, sort of music, particularly the music I like of Turlo O'Carolan, who was an Irish harp harp player and uh, composer from the mid-1600s to early 1700s, wrote many, many, many songs. Uh, and I'm just going to play you a, little, a couple of these at the moment, just to give you an idea 
what the what these strings sound like because they're very bright. So here's just a simple chord. So that's, so that's just the strings, open strings. So much brighter really than um, a classical nylon type strings that you would normally play. What I find about the top string, of course, it's, it's quite thin, it's a 10, so it's quite easy to disturb it and move as you're fingering. So your fingering needs to be quite precise with these strings uh, because obviously the tendency is, because they're very thin uh, and flexible, uh, is for them just to slightly, so it comes slightly off uh, off the note. Anyway, so here's a couple of songs written by uh, Tolo Carolan. that I've got um, uh, from a website called Doc's Work Workshop, and I'll put a link to it down downstairs. And by the way, if you want to know a lot about guitar strings in general, um, there's obviously a lot of websites. There's a good one, and it's called Professor String, and I'll put the link down uh, uh, below. Uh, in the information below. Anyway, so here's a couple of Tirolo Carolan um, pieces. So that's uh, just a couple of uh, Tolo Caroline's wonderful tunes, Shebeck, Shimo, um, and Eleanor Plunkett. Anyway, if you're interested, try out these strings. You'll have to fork out a little bit more money. Um, they've been obviously really good on this guitar. No evidence at all of this top lifting. In fact, I think perhaps the tension on them, uh, we don't know what the tension is, but it's clearly well within the range that a classical guitar can take. So just an interesting experiment. Um, I like them. I've got another classical guitar tuned up with my, my favourite Aquila strings, of course, which I love. Um, uh, but this is worth trying. Um, and people have said, um, well, you should try the rope core strings. Um, they seem to be, again, a bit more expensive. Um, and they, they'll be something I'll be trying out in due course. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. And by the way, thank you to subscribing to my channel uh, because um, I really appreciate people um, commenting and I always try to get back to people if they have questions or comments. So thank you very much and bye for now. <laughs>